Welcome to the exciting new mini podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. I'm Dana. And I'm Connor. Yeah, welcome, Connor. It's been a while. It has. We're going to do this is a mini, right? This is a mini. Okay. Just, I'm, <laughs> I'm fading out. Sorry. I'm trying to produce and talk at the same time. Nice. I can't you're doing do well, man. And you're looking cool when you're doing it. Like, you, you didn't do a count in or count down. So no, that's the only that. thing that's different than Brian's, the one, two, three. So. All right. And this will be the first time that I'm actually hitting the end music and it'll work. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> it didn't the happen. plan is that it'll work. <laughs> All right, what did you watch this week, Connor? Anything new? Or I have did, you been anywhere, gone anywhere, done anything? Um, I watched The Killer, the new David Oh, did Fincher you watch that? Movie. Okay. Is that the one that's on, um, is it streaming on Netflix? Yes, right? it just came out yeah. on Netflix. I um, saw that. I didn't, I saw the thumbnail. I didn't, uh. I didn't click on it though. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. Was You've really been good. talking about that for a while, so I saw it there and I was like, oh, I gotta watch that. But yeah. I didn't get to that yet. He's one of my favorite directors, so I was definitely anticipating this. Um, and this one went right to uh, Netflix, it wasn't in the theaters? There was like a very limited run, like a few select theaters. Yeah. I don't even think New Jersey had any theaters oh, running like it. I think it was cities. like Philly and like Staten Island were like the nearest like places to see this. <laughs> I guess they figured out um, that they want to get nominated for stuff, so they actually have that'll to be put like. It in a like some of those movies we see how it was released in one city like yeah. uh, Evil Dead was released in this one city oh then, right yeah, and yeah. Then, uh, a year and a half year before and it came <laughs> out in wide release yeah, but, but was it good? yeah it was really good I mean David Fincher is you know what the heck <laughs> I'll just time it now it's definitely one of my favorite directors so it's I wouldn't say it's one of his best because I just think like Seven Zodiac Social network. He's got too so many on it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it was still a very good movie. Michael Fassbender is great in it. Tilda Swinton is strange as normal. <laughs> as she always but is. She was in Doctor she's Strange. Good, <laughs> as she was. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, just nothing but good things to say about it. Definitely. Nice. Very I'll, let, awesome. it's, it's I'll add that one to my list, too. Uh, yeah. I did see it a couple times this weekend and thought, I should watch this, and then, eh, I don't know. So that's good knowing that. Let's you see what she it. watched instead, right? Yeah. Nothing really. Uh, I caught up on Loki. Watched the end of that. It was really good. Was the season good? I didn't watch it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard it wasn't as good as the first season, but I didn't watch either season. Uh, so I didn't say. No, I, I think it was really good. I really liked how it ended. Um, and I watched the Flash movie. Um, it was good. Okay. I was just wondering what you thought. It was good. I, I, I thought it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I watched it in one sitting. I didn't get bored with it, so it was good. Did you get bored but with it? But that's really in the only. Sittings? No, no. I, I think I watched it in one sitting all the way through. I think. Yeah. I have a hard time watching a movie in one sitting. Well, that they're was long good. too. That's yeah, and, like it was, and it was long. Movie, right? Yeah. But I really don't watch DC movies, so I, I can't say that I've ever seen one like, outside of Suicide Squad. You didn't um, watch uh, Aquaman? You never saw the Wonder no. Woman movies or uh, Justice League? I started League? the first Wonder Woman, and I didn't like it. Oh, so, really? Because yeah. everybody says that's the first the best one. one. Yeah. The and first one I liked, it wasn't as good as everybody said it was. It was yeah. okay. And then the second one was just yeah. utter I did like the second trash. Suicide Squad. Yes. That one was good. I mean, that's the first the one, one was yeah. awful, and the second yeah. one was good. I know, right? Yeah, The second I one agree. was with uh, Gunn, right? Yeah. And yeah. Idris Elba instead of Will Smith and uh, yeah. other people. I, I'm drawing a blank now. Um, John, Cena. John Cena was Cena, in it, yeah. right. Pete Davidson. John Cena, which that, that's what led into oh, yeah. uh, Peacemaker. Peacemaker which, okay, yeah. then Peacemaker, which I love. Joel Kinnaman as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Right, Joel Kinnaman. Um, I think he was in both. I think he might have been the only one that was I think in it both. Was, well, oh, okay. and Margot Robbie. I don't remember the first Margot one. Margot Robbie. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think I watched anything else. I'm still watching Leftovers. Nice. Um, How far are you into that? Almost done season one. Oh, okay. So, um, and then Shining Veil, vale, we've been watching for a couple months is um, it the Courtney Cox one? Yeah. Is it yeah, good? yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Um I wanted to stop watching it, Tara didn't, so we're, <laughs> we're watching it. <laughs> um but they're only half hours, so um that's really it. All right. that's all I, I, I watched uh, The Whale the other night. Michelle and I watched The Whale. Great movie. I like <laughs> so that movie good. a lot, man. Very, very, very good. Yeah. And Brennan Fraser seen deserved that yet? the Oscar. No, it looked like it was going to make me sad, oh, so I didn't want to watch it. That's why I didn't want to watch <laughs> it. I didn't want to be sad. Nothing good comes with this movie. It's not like <laughs> it's all of a sudden it ends with him like, yeah. getting on a it's treadmill that, yeah. and like, working it off. No, <laughs> that will not happen. A montage, a Rocky montage. And not just him either. The whole cast is great. Yeah, There's only like four people, but they're all very good. I have to be in a mood to watch a movie that I know is going to make me sad. And 
That one looks like it is, so I haven't watched it yet. It starts wa- off with a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. We watched it actually. <laughs> you the know, last day Michelle's yeah. mom was here, so I was already in a depressed mood anyway. So yeah. I was like, yeah, we might as well just watch this. <laughs> Did she come back or has she been here the whole time? She came back last weekend oh, for okay. Cameron's birthday, and she already went back. She Enjoyed left okay. Monday morning or something like that, oh. or Tuesday morning. We took her to the airport, and then she called and said her flight was delayed. I said, I'm not going back to pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> she can sit in Trenton all day. I don't care. <laughs> Jay, you Is that all you watched? No, I watched some other things. I, I watched, watched um, the South Park Pandaverse. Okay. Uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's, because you guys had mentioned that. I watched that. It, Did you like it? It was okay. Yeah. It, was, it was silly and fun. Yeah. But Connor, you said you would just watch Pandaverse too, right? I did. I did watch it. And Jason, what did you think, man? It was fun. I like it. I like South Park, though. I'm oh, a fan. I, I do, too. I just didn't think it was funny. I don't know. I I think you might have need to rewatch. I laughed. I mean, <laughs> it was, it was I, I, I don't know what you want from South Park that you don't find it funny. I mean, uh, dude, I love South Park. I get all their jokes. That's why I was just kind of like, and I said to Connor before, I'm like, I agreed with everything they said. I just didn't find it funny. I don't know. I also can't funny. really comment on if I think this is funnier or less funnier than normal South Park because I've probably seen twenty episodes out of the whole catalog prior to this. Well, they've so, definitely changed over the last yeah. 25 years. So oh, the yeah, humor yeah. is not the same as it used to be, but yeah. they're a lot more crude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched the four part documentary on Netflix till murder. Do us part. So ring versus Hasem. That was the, What's uh, all that? That was the couple. It was a so ring was the last name versus Hasem. That's the other couple. So, uh, mother and father that were murdered and it was uh, the daughter said she wanted it to happen the boyfriend said he would do it for her and then they both say that each other did it so it goes back and forth like that it's pretty interesting okay uh, I watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse nice that is, is that good. the second one? the second one right? Yes. yeah okay I like both those so those are good I watched Sly the documentary Sly on Netflix that was fun. If you is like about Sylvester Stallone, okay. yeah. Is it like a whole career it's, kind of documentary? It's thing? quick. It's only ninety minutes, but mm. it seems like it spends a lot more time on Rocky than anything oh, that, else. That but made I mean, him. A but I mean, he had man. other movies and stuff, and then his family comes in real quick at the end. But that's that's about it. And then Did I watched any of um, his uh, early porno work. Creep its way into no, that, that came no, in. No. Uh, I think it was just one movie that he actually did. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. It. But I forget. Um, Didn't they rename it the Italian Stallion um, after Rocky like that, got after big? It came out, yeah. <laughs> and I watched. I started it, but I didn't finish it. The uh, Millie Vanilli uh, documentary <laughs> on Paramount Plus. Oh, is, I didn't know there was one out there. Yeah. Is really? Millie or Vanilli? I know one of them is dead. Whoever's yeah. not dead, is, Rob, Rob is, is dead. dead. Is, is yeah. the other one involved in it, or yeah. they Fat interviewed the other one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know their actual names. Rob Pilatus and Fabricio Morvan. Connor, here's, oh, here's a question go. for you. Nice. Do you know who Millie Vanilli is? No. I was, wow. I was glad you elaborated because when he said I, Millie I saw Vanilli, the look like, in your oh, face. Like, what are you person? talking about? <laughs> when he that's said that, I'm people. like, oh, that's one, that's one person. And then you said that. I'm like, oh, I have no idea what's they going They were on. huge in the 80s. <laughs> Everyone thought they were like brothers. They all had long dreads. They wore the same outfit. They looked a little bit alike, but the hair was And what was their biggest it. song? They had one huge they song. Had like couple. three, four. four. like the big one. Girl, yeah. you know it's true. Girl, you know it's yeah, true. I don't know okay. if that's what it's called, but ooh, that's how it went. Ooh, ooh, I love, love you. you. Yeah. And they won the best new, new artist artists. Grammy. Yeah. They were so then huge. They were, they were oh, they were huge. They were, and then Blame It on the Rain. Blame It on the Rain. And then uh, yep. there was one other, I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, so they were performing live somewhere, and the track started skipping. And then they were, it came out that they were lip syncing, which was a big scandal, blew up. But then it got even worse because then it came out that they weren't, they didn't sing. Those weren't their voices on their music they at all. They talked to the original two guy. other random oh, okay. guys. Yeah. Are they both th- of the original guys still alive? Or there was like just whoever? one guy that they talked to. I don't know if it was just him. It and they just doubled one guy. And they doubled his voice. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So like they got found out to be frauds. And But if you were to listen to them, you hear the songs and it's like, girl, you know, it's true. The, the voice is like that. Yeah. But then you heard them talk. And in an interview, and they had were they the, like Jamaican the thickest German accent? <laughs> oh, it was German. Okay, yeah. and it's they like, were German, really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, and That's it's weird. just it's just like insane. It's like you're singing over here, and you said yeah. like that. Yeah. They, they took a, nobody really. Who ever were the put two that guys that, or the one guy at least that, that did it? That was I forget the his voice. Name. I don't okay. know. His, I don't remember his name. It was. He's in this uh, yeah. documentary, and but, it um, came out because did he leak it or did somebody else leak it? I think, man, I don't remember how it leaked. It was, yeah. it was the biggest deal that year. What, what yeah. was that, 1990 or something like that? It was Probably. Like the biggest yeah. deal I think then. they won 91 uh, Best New okay. Artist yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so. And then 
the one turned to drugs and ended up either killing himself or overdosing. It was overdose, suicide yeah. slash something, something. Yeah. Dark side. So but then the thing is, did the one guy ended up having a singing career. Like, he wasn't awful, didn't he sing a little um, bit? I think he was... I Again, I didn't finish the documentary, okay. so I have to get through it. I, yeah. I've only got, like, about 20 minutes It was really in. sad. Yeah. I still like those songs, no, like, even though they Paramount weren't singing Plus, it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you want to watch it. I do. Uh, Andy, where'd you go last night? Oh, I went to a, um, a comedy show in Philadelphia. At the comedy TLA. show in Philadelphia? Yeah. The TLA? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was fun, man. We saw, um, well, I guess Joe DeRosa was the, the headliner. And yes. then the opener was uh, two, two Ray Gordon. Was that two his name? Ray, Philadelphia's own. Yeah. Two Ray Gordon. And I guess Philadelphia's own Joe DeRosa, right? Or is yeah. he from, He's from Philly somewhere as well, around yeah. there, right? Very funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good time. Yeah, fun. And we had, like, fifth row. Weird setup, nice. because we were just there... A month ago Fifth for a, a, Center, actually. a punk right show, there, yeah. so oh. now all of a sudden they had like chairs yeah, we on the floor. We were there a month ago stuff. in the balcony. We watched a punk show from the balcony. We saw Fear, and then we were uh, fifth row center in the uh, on the wow. floor. Not the best yeah. venue for a comedy show, in my opinion. Like, it, it was kind of, I think we were too low. I like when you're kind of like raised and looking down on the stage instead of. Yeah, kind of looking up well, that at was him, that, but whatever. Well, because I mean, that's like, not that kind of venue for I know, too. You I know, know what I mean? Just, yeah. It, it, like in, he, he normally would have been in like a theater if you're playing, but if you're playing in a comedy club, it's kind of like that because it's yeah. all one size stage, but the stage is usually lower. No, yeah. 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 I, I, I mean, that has very little to do with it except for the fact that the chairs were very uncomfortable. The chairs like two were absolutely thing to work. Oh my God. Yeah. And everybody was better than standing. Everybody was fat and old. You know, we had to move all the chairs. You know, they're just, like the car car in chairs. front of us was a they're mess. They're all like car chairs, and we're all sitting. I'm mean, having to push away from each other because, <laughs> oh my god, the <laughs> row in front of us was a mess when they got the, when they sat down, they moved. They, oh yeah, <laughs> but they were both very funny. Um, yeah, is that it, on South Street? Yeah, yeah. What's South Street like these days? Crowded. <laughs> Is we it got really? great parking. We were we right did, in front yeah. of the uh, venue. I mean, I used to. I haven't been down there in. 20 years yeah, but it 20 years ago of, there's, was, there's a lot of people walking around out yeah. there still yeah still a lot of like bars and clubs and stores and shops stuff yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay. i mean it felt safe ish that kid you know, yelling out um he was selling he was selling phantom, phantom menace, menace uh vhs <laughs> okay <laughs> great <laughs> he was, he was yelling hayden he was like hayden christensen kept yelling hayden christensen <laughs> jar jar pigs <laughs> yeah out of here it was very, very strange, and we're just like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I watched um, on Netflix also, and it was. I think I was looking for the killer. I went to Netflix to find the killer, and then because Netflix just he stopped, went for the killer and stayed for Netflix just starts the preview on something. I'm like, oh, I'm like, this might be something we want to watch. So um, it was four episodes, hour ish long each episode. All the light you cannot see, and I wrote it down because yeah, I never it's a guy said from it. Dark. I've never said it correctly. Yeah. In, as I'm looking at it, I can say it correctly. Yes, Mikael from Dark is mm-hmm. the star. It's also Hugh Laurie and Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, and it's World War II. And the main girl, who I didn't mention yet because she's nobody, never did anything before this, is blind in real life, blind in the movie, and. The Americans are bombing her town in France, and the Germans are there already in control and so it's a lot of back and forth back and forth and there's a whole plot about the radio being very important in the german uh, the americans knowing where to bomb and she's reading specific passages from Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea and that's supposed to alert the americans to know where to bomb and she's like part of the french resistance and it, it was really good it was probably a little too long like a two-hour movie probably would have been really good but whatever Four There's hours, only four episodes. Four episodes, okay. and it's done. I mean, the war ended, so it had to be done. As soon as I saw the the picture of it when you first go mm-hmm. into Netflix, it's my picture, and I was like, "Oh, it's Jonah." Yeah. So I was like, yeah. oh, "I'm going to have to watch this." Yeah, it yeah, was, I was good. I was going to say, like you said, oh, it's not Mik- Mikhail. It's, it's not him. It's Jonas. Right? Oh, maybe yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Because yes. you're right. You're right. I haven't seen Dark in a little bit. It's you're okay. right. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're the all young German one. names, anyway. Young Jonah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Version, yeah I am. Yeah, I course, right. Michael is the stuff. Michael's the dad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah or okay. or son. Well, on how you right, but not not Jonas. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, and other than that, I watched BoJack Horseman. I started watching that. I watched like the first no six way. episodes of that. Well, my kids watched it, and they keep telling me, "Gotta watch it, gotta watch it, gotta watch it." And there's only so much of that I can take. So finally, I was like, "All right, I'll just start watching this." I haven't seen that. I know that's what Will Arnett. 
Yeah, and um, Aaron Amy Paul. Sedaris, Aaron Paul, um, Allison Brie. Uh, I guess they're the four main people, but like it's one of those things where there's like a guest star every week kind of thing, and it's very funny. Yeah. I Although just, it's not that funny yet. Logan keeps telling me, he's like, you got to get through the first season. you got to get through the first season, which is never a good sign for me. I'm always like, <laughs> if I have to get through something, I'm just not going to yeah. watch it, but... Each episode's made me giggle. By the time you get to the finale, you're going to love yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, like, it's one of those shows where it's, you know, it's real life. He's a washed up horse. <laughs> he, was on a co- he was on a comedy show in the 90s called Horsing Around, and now he's working on his uh, memoirs, but he's an alcoholic, too, and he can't get it done. He's living with Aaron Paul, and, like, like, <laughs> like it's so funny because there's animals and humans kind of interacting all together it's like the one time he's at the supermarket and one of the girls recognizes him and screams at him. he's like oh and he turns around he's like what do you want and one of the girls is a chicken and an egg just like drops out of her <laughs> space on the ground i was like that's really funny i don't know why i find that so funny it was so right, dumb you had to be there. yeah it was very much you yeah, had to be there because i came down and told logan that was my favorite part of the episode he's like yeah i don't even remember that i'm like oh okay i guess i just like the psych eggs <laughs> But that's all I got. I don't know if anybody has I anything else. I don't have else. anything else. Anybody else? Have anything? I, did, I did have some stuff. Nice. Uh, I did want to half piggyback on The Whale, because I did also watch that a couple days after Andy did. That was really good. Yeah. And I'm definitely here for the Brendan Fraser revival, if mm. you will, because <laughs> I also saw Killers of the Flower Moon that has him, and that was excellent. He had a very small part, in was, it, but he was still pretty good. Was nice. Timothy Chalamet in that? No, he was not. Because hmm. he was on SNL this week. And yeah, because he's... Because of because of Wonka, uh-huh, but yeah. he started promoting. He's like, I can't promote my movies until today, and so he starts promoting Willy Wonka. He's like, but if you don't have time for Willy Wonka, go watch Killers of the Flower Moon or Dune Two. And I was kind of like, huh, I didn't know he was in Killers of the Flower Moon, but I guess he was just saying that for a throwaway line to promote that movie as Didn't well. Did he say Desert Moon? No, he definitely said, he said Desert he said Moon, Killers of the Flower Moon, and Dune Two. And I was like, I okay, no, I don't know, I have no idea, but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, outside of that, I did watch Good Time, which I know I mentioned to you, Andy. Excellent, yeah. Robert Pattinson. Great movie. And one of the Safdie brothers is also in I it. I think I saw that. Yeah, I could tell. They directed it as well. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know which one's in it, but they both directed yeah. it, right? The brothers. Is that one yeah. about where he's a, is he a drug dealer? Yeah. yeah so they're like yeah. low-level Dating a little criminal. Girl. And, and they're a young Hoodlums. girl involved. Yeah, his brother <laughs> okay. gets arrested. Yeah. And, but that was the, a good movie, yeah, yeah. they're the guys that directed... Uh, Uncut Gems. Okay. Very good movies, yeah. I also noticed that uh, some like very side character in Good Time, he's like a security guard, is the main hijacker from Captain Phillips, if anyone saw that movie. Oh, the, the guy uh, who's like, I'm the I'm captain, the captain now. now. Like, that guy, he the was guy in actually it. got work. Like, no way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I was like, awesome. I was like, how about that? <laughs> you would think that's a one-off part. Like, the guy from you, The Gods Must Be Crazy. You know he never worked again. Yeah, like, that, that, was, guy, yeah. that was it. That was his only role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and last thing was uh, for all the light we cannot see. I'm like super excited to watch that because okay. I think the cast is great. It's great. But I gotta say, Sean Levy. I don't know, man. Like anytime he does like some comedy work or like any like more like family movies, like Night at the Museum. Um, oh, he did another one that I can't remember. But most of them are like, oh, this is a really good time. But when he like tries to do more serious stuff, I feel like it is. What else did he do that was serious? I don't even know. Um, I know he did a lot of uh, season four of Stranger Things, which I'm infamously not a fan of. (laughs) Season four? That was the last season? Yeah, that was the most recent season. I know he's like 30, 30, right? Yes, they're 30. They're in their 30s now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, when that season season five comes out, Mike's going to be applying for Social Security being like, huh? <laughs> but Will will still have a baby face. Yeah. <laughs> so just pulling this stuff up. Um, he did. This is where we leave you. If you've seen that movie with Jason Bateman, it's when uh, yeah, the like father dies and he like requests his whole family who's like Jewish oh, to, like sit yes. shiva or whatever yes, for the yes, week yes. and. Uh, and, uh, what's his face is in it? Uh, the, is Tina Fey in it? Nah, I don't know if he, I, Adam I, Driver's I, in it. Jason he, Bateman and the other brothers. The guy from Ant Man, the bald guy. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, he was uh, in um, Billions. I think. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. That was good. I didn't see that. Yeah. So and that Jane Fonda's their mom, right? Jane Fonda's their mom. 
Damn, I don't Someone remember. Someone along that. the lines of her. Yeah, yes. she is. Yeah, she okay. is. Okay. okay, that was good. Yeah. Good memory. <laughs> I mean, I just saw it in the last it? like month or two. But the, who was the sister? Kristen Wiig or or? Damn, I don't remember now. So yeah, like, the girl I just said. I forget already. Night at the museum. Uh, this is where we leave you. The internship. I liked all the those internship, movies. Okay. Uh, <sighs> internship is that with the Nero and uh, Anne Hathaway? Uh, no, that was. Um, Vince Vaughn and, and Owen Wilson, Wilson yeah. when they like get the, the Google, one, yeah. Google no, and like you. it was <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not for me and then you know his two most recent movies were I think Free Guy and The Adam Project which I think both, both Ryan Reynolds were infamously oh. I like crap they were I don't both, think so they were I like both the Adam okay Project. Adam Project was yeah. a time travel one that yeah. was better than either Free one of Guy them, yeah. Yeah. Free Guy was the video game one yes, yeah the non-playable yeah. character and I, one yeah. I think I'm like this may not even be Sean Levy's fault. I may be blaming him for Ryan Reynolds because I really just have a problem that Ryan Reynolds is, is so young as an actor and he kind of just gave up acting. He's like, I'm just going to be Ryan Reynolds yeah, in every but movie. Sometimes and that like, works, man. I don't know. It doesn't work for me anymore. George Clooney, <laughs> George Clooney played George Clooney for like 40 right, years and then all right. of a sudden one day he was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow up. I'm 53 years old. I'm going to start playing like mature <laughs> roles now. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna act. <laughs> well, yeah, so... Um, but I'm still definitely excited to check this yeah, out. Yeah, no, it's it's very good. It's very good. It's good. But it does, like, the last episode, I was like, hmm, I can definitely see where they could have cut out, like, half of this and just made it a, a movie. You know yeah, where I could have put it? Oh. I would put it on Spreaker, because that's where you can download our, our podcast. Whoa. Download, rate, subscribe, review, do all those fun things. It's the exciting and new podcast on all our socials. It's the uh, Jazoo at Jazoo 74. You have no excuse for messing up the music there. Jazoo 74 Twitter. <laughs> the Jazoo on Instagram. This has been the exciting and new mini podcast. I'm Chase. A Gonzo 1 on Twitter. A Gonzo 1970 on Instagram. I am Andy. Dana Caps on TikTok and Twitter. And Dana Caps 77 on Instagram. I'm Dana. Variance Reviews on Instagram. I am Connor. I like that Dana has it written down what she's, her stuff is. She's saying we're going to do that. Yeah. I did. I forget it every time. We'll say every time I'm on you.